Hey everybody, it's Andrew from Deutsche. Welcome back to our showroom in Charlotte, North Carolina for another episode of the Deutsche Download. Hydrocarbon, or BHO extraction, is quickly becoming the front runner in the concentrate game for a multitude of different reasons, starting with its effectiveness, ease of operation, and ending with a high quality potent product on the back end that needs little to no post-processing. So with a smaller scale operation and a boutique cannabis experience in mind, we bring to you the DHX20. The DHX20 is a closed loop hydrocarbon extraction system geared for effectiveness and efficiency. Now this one is going to be rated and reviewed for butane and propane or a blend of both. For our test runs we're going to be using 100% butane. The first thing that you're going to notice behind me is our custom built C1D1 rated booth. Now most cities and states and local laws are going to require any type of hydrocarbon extraction system to be housed in one of these. And it's just a good idea in general because safety first. So for the purpose of this video and to protect myself and Matt, there's not going to be any solvents while we're shooting this video. In a C1D1 setting or environment, ignitable concentrations of gases can accumulate in normal work settings. So for this reason, we've outfitted this building with a couple of key safety features to ensure the safety of the operators. Suppression system, auto closed doors, as well as safety lights and horns. Air will be continuously vented through the system and pushed outside, ensuring there's, if there is a leak of the gas or solvent, it'll be removed instantly from the booth. The DHX20 has two 20 liter columns that are gonna serve as your main extraction vessels, as well as two 50 liter solvent storage tanks. So this is gonna be for your fresh solvent as well as your reclaimed and recycled stuff. Should be good for multitudes of uses without having to clean in any moisture. Now, the columns here are gonna hold anywhere between 15 to 35 pounds, depending on what type of biomass you use. The bags inside can handle either fresh frozen flour or ground up biomass. It really is whichever one you prefer. We haven't seen any issues with channeling or lack of soaking and things like that. Lease valves over here are gonna control your, control your flow rate in and out from the salvage tank. Now, the DHX is a closed loop system, so effectively we've removed all of the air in the system and replaced it with that butane. As the solvent makes its way from the storage tank to the actual extraction vessel, it's going to be cooled by our sub-zero chillers. Now, it's important to mention that this process can be done with either warm or cold solvent. Both have their ups and downsides, right? So a warmer run is going to have a far larger yield and end overall product, but is going to need additional post-processing, color remediation, winterization, different things like that. A cold run is going to yield a slightly smaller amount, but it's not going to require as much post-processing on the back end. So, dealer's choice when it comes to your temperatures. At the beginning of the episode, I mentioned that this thing is geared for effectiveness and efficiency, and that holds true, especially when we look at the back ancillary equipment. What we've done is have an all-inclusive compressor and chiller, and we're going to actually use the heat created from the chiller, recycle it back into the system to aid in the actual separation process. So once your residence time and temperature is set, you're able to recirculate your solvent back through the system, cleaning it, and using it for another go-around. The last step of the process is gonna happen right here in our cyclone evaporation unit. How this is gonna work is a saturated solvent is gonna be pumped into this tank, flash evaporated, condensed, and then returned into the solvent reclamation tank, leaving nothing but liquid gold coming out of the end. 